Hi friends, welcome to this uh, video on uh, sixth lord in all different houses of your birth chart. Before going into the video, a uh, very quick introduction. Do not miss the introduction. It's very important for you to understand your placement of sixth lord, okay, which I will be discussing soon. Now, friends, sixth lord is house is the lord of the sixth house in your sixth lord what zodiac sign you have okay for example if you have the sign of gemini then your sixth lord will be mercury if you have the sign of cancer then your sixth lord is moon like that all right okay now friends in the chart of the cosmic man or kal purusha the lord of the sixth house is mercury and as i always tell you that you should never forget the chart of the cosmic man which has to be superimposed upon your birth chart to get accurate results so sixth lord is the lord of the sixth house where you have virgo sign virgo is ruled by mercury and sixth house is also signified by mars okay mars this planet also signifies your sixth house the sixth house is also signified by saturn so these three planets mars saturn significators of the sixth house and mercury lord of the sixth house so they are connected to the sixth house and so definitely their energies will somewhere be connected to the sixth lord as well the sixth lord will carry with itself the power of intelligence as well because of mercury and sixth lord can carry with itself creative transformative energy as well because of its association with mars sixth house association with mars in the chart of the cosmic man okay sixth lord will also carry with itself the ability to work hard the ability to you know believe in perseverance hard work on a daily basis so that is also connected to saturn so you have to remember that the sixth lord will carry with itself all these things but then it will also sixth house is also the house of enemies sixth house is the house of litigations diseases disputes that also we have to remember that is why it is referred to as a male malefic house or dusthana in astrology so now the sixth lord will definitely be posited in a certain house in your birth chart before i go to the uh, individual uh, house placements or to your specific placement of sixth house i would like to give you a certain disclaimers like for example in the chart of a virgo ascendant the fifth lord is also the sixth lord is also the fifth lord saturn okay in the chart of a virgo ascendant the sixth lord saturn is also fifth lord then in such a case you will see that the negative impact or the negative results which the sixth lord can bring to a particular house because of its placement there so those negative results can get alleviated or diminished to a great extent because sixth lord is also fifth lord fifth lord definitely is connected to prosperity name fame even happiness knowledge that is why now again in the chart of certain ascendants you will see that the fifth lord is also the ascendant lord the ascendant lord is another very auspicious planet in your chart because it is connected to not just the dharma trikona but also to the it is also connected to the kendra so the ascendant lord if it is more or less well placed 
in its own sign or in a friendly sign or its dispositor is well placed in the birth chart then we can say that the ascendant lord is more or less strong then if the ascendant lord and sixth lord are same then definitely if you are focusing on self improvement on your growth development then definitely you will see that the negative results of sixth lord in a certain house will get diminished to a great extent so these are disclaimers so which you have to keep in mind and find out again if your sixth lord is also find out if it is also your ninth lord ninth lord is connected to your fortune good luck okay so so if sixth lord is also your ninth lord then also you will see that the negative impact of the sixth lord on a certain house can get alleviated to some extent definitely again if the sixth lord in your birth chart is also the 11th lord then 11th lord is connected to your gains so that means if you really focus on your hard work and daily routine work then you can gain and because it is also your 11th lord it can bring you gains as well but you just have to have the desire to work hard so these are certain uh things which you have to keep in mind and also before i go into the video uh, i have to tell you that the sixth house is the house of your prarabdha karma prarabdha karma refers to those actions movements which you are bound to undertake in this current lifetime because of the karma of your past life prarabdha karma is definitely because it is the 6th house is 10th from the 9th house of your past life okay 9th house is actually the house which is connected to your past life first house is the is your present life and fifth house is connected to your future so the karma of your past life is the 6th house which is referred to as the prarabdha karma those actions those deeds those movements which you have to you know kind of engage in in this lifetime you cannot avoid them because they are kind of predetermined and they are destined to happen in this lifetime and there is no escape from that all right so the 6th house definitely or the 6th lord wherever it will go it will also show how your prarabdha karma or how your destiny is unfolding before you and certain things which you cannot avoid you have to fulfill that karma in this lifetime now also you know about one concept which is called rinanubandha rinanubandha or the rin bandhan that is the debt which you have to pay okay so so definitely your prarabdha karma which is the sixth house signifies is also to a great extent connected to this concept of rinanubandha that is you are bound by debt why do you have a certain family why are you born into a certain family why do you have you know the parents whom you have so your parents your siblings your children even your servants your boss your neighbors you are not related to them just for no reason you're not related to them without any meaning there is a meaning because maybe you owe some debt to them or they owe something to you so some exchange has to happen that is why you got them these people as your parents as your family or as your neighbors as your friends 
whatever blood relationships you have whatever even sexual relationship you have even your marital relationship all these relationships are definitely connected to rinanubandha to the debt which you owe to these people and so these people were destined to be part of your life so so the sixth house is that is why a house you know which is uh, you know connected to those actions those karmas which whether you want or not you have to indulge in them because you are obligated or because you have that obligation it is obligatory for you to indulge in those actions and movements they are predetermined because they are the karma of your previous life so as a result of the karma of your previous life you have to engage in these actions in this lifetime to pay off the debt or to settle your karmic account with some person or certain people so you have to keep in mind these things before moving into you know sixth lord in a certain house all right so now let me talk about sixth lord what results you will get remember the disclaimers which i gave you in the introduction so if the sixth lord is also your fifth lord and so on then definitely the negative results will get alleviated or diminished keep that in mind so find out uh, sixth lord is also the lord of which house in your chart if the sixth lord is moon or sun then definitely it will only be the sixth lord yes because sun and moon they have just one zodiac sign each moon can only be in cancer sun can only be in leo so then only then sixth lord will be just one planet otherwise sixth uh, sixth lord uh, uh, will be uh, one planet and b- but because it is only in one sign okay but uh, sixth lord will only be the sixth lord sorry but uh, if it is the not sun or moon say if it is mercury then sixth lord can also be the lord of some other house like that so let's move on to the sixth lord in the first house if the sixth lord is in the first house okay what will happen first house is part of the dharma trikona the trine of your inherent nature personality it is also the trine of creation knowledge all right it is it also the trine of duty from the name itself dharma so there you have the sixth lord it is generally considered to be a somewhat problematic placement because now the person may suffer from any disease that is possible okay so one has to take care of their health you need to take care of your health very important and you may also enter into conflicts with people because you may have great argumentative skills okay but if the sixth lord is well placed in the first house then you will argue for a good reason and your argumentative skills will be commendable and you can be very intelligent if the sixth lord is well placed then such people can go into the field of law they can go into the field of medicine they can go into any sort of service okay and they can also do analysis even research and such people can definitely become successful in life it is possible if it is well placed in the first house now otherwise if it is not so well placed if it is not so strong then what will happen that planet should be in a friendly sign its dispositor should be well placed then it can give you great analytical ability okay so which can make you successful in life or else you will enter into conflicts for with people all right 
and those conflicts can make you land in trouble these things can happen again diseases you need to be careful about your health okay now sixth lord in the first house these people uh, definitely uh, you know they have you know now sixth lord is in your first house okay so certain obligations you will have towards your father you can have because you see friends uh, sixth lord is a planet in bhrigunandi nadi jyotish we believe that every planet has trinal aspects the fifth and ninth aspects okay it will aspect the house where it is sitting and it will aspect the house fifth from it and ninth from it this is a concept in bhrigunandi nadi jyotish so if you have the sixth lord in the first house you have certain obligations towards your father responsibilities you need to shoulder those responsibilities okay yes you are destined to do you to handle those responsibilities you cannot escape from that you also may at times feel that uh, you know you are uh, in a state of conflict with your father you may feel but nevertheless you have to uh, do your duty towards your father all right then also you may have certain obligations you know because certain very strong karmic account you may have to settle even with your child okay sixth lord is aspecting the fifth house also so with your child no matter if even if you have conflicts differences of opinion with your child you have to as a guardian as a parent you have to take care of your child very important okay that you have to keep in mind yeah these things we can say and towards your own life also you have to maybe use your analytical skills do your day to day job well if you are routine bound methodical disciplined if you are using your intelligence well you will get good results and you will move towards prosperity in life and you may also eventually move into social service that will be good for you now let's move to sixth lord in the second house if sixth lord is in the second house it is activating the trine of materialistic pursuits artha trikona that means if you use your intelligence if you use your penetrating intellect your analytical skills if you use all of that your ability to use logic and reasoning well you use that your ability to work hard okay with patience perseverance also you use that ability or you make use of that quality to uh, you know rise in your professional life you will get very good results if the sixth lord is in the second house that means you have to you are kind of destined to work hard in this lifetime okay things will not be served to you on a platter okay so you have to work hard okay so that is important so if you believe in hard work if you believe in using your intelligence your analytical skills your ability to work hard you will do very well you will end up earning a lot of wealth in this lifetime you will also do very well in your profession you can be very successful also in your profession and you will end up earning wealth but you have to do your day to day work with you know patience and dedication that is very important you have to be practical grounded when it comes to earning money or focusing on work you have to really be very practical and methodical 
then you will do well yes you will encounter you can encounter obstacles in attaining wealth definitely it can happen but if you are determined to work hard use your intelligence analytical ability and work hard then you will overcome those obstacles and be able to gain wealth you may enter into arguments or conflicts with people in your family it's possible your speech because of your speech you may enter into conflicts so be careful if it is not necessary to talk remain silent then sixth lord in the second house what else there could be certain restrictions uh, on your diet follow those restrictions okay in order to gain good health okay yeah so you just need to believe in hard work believe in being grounded practical methodical in your work yeah now let's move on to what will happen uh, you may also sixth lord in the second house you may have certain obligations or duties towards your family so fulfill those duties towards your family even if you are not on good terms with them you may enter into conflicts at times with them but try to shoulder your responsibility towards your family towards you know parents even grandparents you know towards your family members whoever is part of your family all right now let's move on to the sixth lord in the third house when the sixth lord is in the third house so it is in a house which is part of the trine of desires okay kama trikona so you will you might feel that when you have sixth lord in the third house whenever you go to uh, you know fulfill your desires in life you will you might encounter obstacles there okay so whenever you try to move towards fulfillment of your own wishes and desires you can experience obstacles this is possible but sixth lord in the third house third house is also a mildly malefic house because it is also the house of certain obstacles even uh, hard work okay now sixth lord is there so it is generally considered to be a more or less good placement that means if you really work hard towards enhancing your skills talents interests whatever interests you have you explore uh, in what field you're interested and you know you enhance your skills and you work hard you use your analytical ability your knowledge you use your okay intelligence to gain certain skills professional skills you will do very well in life third over time over time you will end up doing very well if you go on making efforts okay so that you have to remember so it is actually uh, it can uh, this is a very good placement when you have the sixth lord in the third house it is a very good placement for being a lawyer or advocate for going into the field of law for even going into the field of medicine okay then uh, you can have the ability to even heal people with medicine then it is a very good placement for using your communication skills 
to be a mediator in disputes so you can be a very good counselor also you can also have great counseling skills also third house house of skills and sixth house sixth lord if it is more or less powerful it will give you great analytical ability great intelligence so you can be a very good counselor you can have great communication skills it is possible now here third house it's sixth lord is in the third house part of the kama trikona so there could be conflicts with your siblings because it is in the third house it is possible but you have certain obligations and duties towards your siblings which you should not avoid okay that is important younger siblings then uh, even your elder siblings because sixth lord from the third house will also cast ninth aspect on the 11th house of elder siblings as per bhrigu nandinari jyotish so all your siblings you have some karmic account to settle with all your siblings so just do your duty towards them just do whatever you can maybe at least to help them if they need you that you should do you may be you may not agree with them on many things there could be difference of opinion quarrels but even then you should shoulder your responsibilities towards them you also have a very karmic a connection very karmic connection with your life partner yes so that is also something which you have to remember because the sixth lord will cast fifth aspect on the seventh house also as per bhrigu nandinari okay yeah so the sixth lord is in your third house okay so as i told you since it is part of the uh, you know kama trikona the trikona of desires you can also be into conflicts when you enter into friendship with people you can enter into conflicts with people in your network or even social circle you may at times feel that you are uh, you know in a state of conflict with your life partner all these things are possible but you actually you know need to just do your duty towards them that's it just do your duty towards them so that you can be free from that rinanubandha that bondage of debt actually which you are carrying with yourself in this lifetime so just do your duty towards them and focus on enhancing your professional skills that will make you very successful also that is possible okay so just focus on enhancing your skills your talents and just you need to you know you have to make efforts now use your intelligence analytical ability to make efforts with courage determination so that will help you a lot actually now let's move on to what will happen when the sixth lord is in the fourth house this is generally not considered to be a good placement you may be in a state of conflict with your mother okay you have differences of opinion with your mother some lack of peace within the house because there could be quarrels in the house fights okay disputes within the house disputes in family uh, in uh, within the family and disputes in property matters you may have to handle the dispute such disputes in property matters whenever you go to buy some property in your own name you may encounter obstacles there 
okay so if you're married may, maybe if your spouse is uh, lucky and if your spouse um, says fourth lord or fourth house is uh, you know very powerful and uh, then you should take the property in your spouse's name if you're married yeah and uh, this is also a combination excuse me this is also a combination for even domestic violence now those who have sixth lord in the fourth house don't get disheartened because certain good things are also coming up let me talk about these things first negative things so it is also the combination for domestic violence uh, people within the household a lot of quarrels fights which could even lead to violence especially if mars and rahu are involved with the sixth lord it can happen even if mars and ketu are involved it can also happen all right okay now sixth lord is in your fourth house so what else we can say here you will see that some lack of peace of mind okay that you may experience now if sixth lord is in your fourth house fourth house is part of your moksha trikona fourth house is connected to your home which is the grihastha ashram actually then from there the sixth lord from the fourth house it will cast trinal aspects as per bhrigunandinari jyotish on 8012 house okay you may be uh, destined to travel to some place you may not be willing to travel but maybe you have to travel you may not be able to stay in your house and you may be kind of forced to travel somewhere else that is also possible now sixth lord in the fourth house one good thing is that sixth lord is aspecting your 8th house and your 12th house so if you move towards social service you can pay off certain debts which you owe to people in this lifetime so if you move towards social service you will see or if you move towards charity and helping people out you will get peace of mind okay you will get peace of mind and your life will transform for the better when you have sixth lord in the fourth house you have certain obligations towards your mother actually you may have conflicts with your mother but you have certain duties towards your mother and you need to settle that karmic account with your mother so you have to be dutiful towards your mother no matter what that is what you have to do when you have sixth lord in the fourth house that is the best remedy for sixth lord in the fourth house just take care of your mother do your duty towards her then sixth lord in the fourth house you need to definitely as i told you you need to practice compassion you need to be compassionate you need to believe in service you need to reach out to the downtrodden the unprivileged okay so you should do meditation actually when you have sixth lord in the fourth house meditation is another remedy when you do meditation you will see you will experience peace of mind 
okay now while med meditating connect with some divine energy okay so that will also enable you to get peace of mind that is possible because in this lifetime you are actually i mean it is means in or if just for your own self growth so that you can move ahead you know in this journey so we are all undertaking a certain journey everybody's journey is unique because the soul that we carry within ourselves it has a unique karmic blueprint okay so we are all undertaking our individual journey so in the course of this journey the journey will become easier for you if you undertake meditation if you uh, you know connect with some divine energy practice charity and compassion then this journey will become meaningful for you okay and you will feel eventually that you are free from that bondage of debt also you owe maybe to the something to your mother you owe something to the unprivileged so just reach out to them you owe something even to your in-laws for that matter because sixth lord in the fourth house it will also aspect your eighth house of in-laws if you're married you have certain obligations towards your in-laws as well okay yeah so all these things we can say and this is as per the fifth aspect from the fourth house on your eighth house as per bhrigunandi nari jyotish now let's move on to the sixth lord in the fifth house when the sixth lord is in the fifth house what can we say yes now here on the one hand uh, you may encounter obstacles in education okay you may have uh, enter into conflicts with your child it's possible uh, you may have quarrels with your uh, romantic partner that is also possible you may encounter obstacles in your love life that is possible you may encounter obstacles in gaining prosperity in life in gaining name and fame that is also possible it is generally not considered to be a good placement people can take loans to engage in gambling that will happen if the sixth lord is uh, is not well posited in the fifth house they can take loans uh, money they can borrow money to indulge in gambling to invest in certain stocks shares they may even take loans for all of that you should not do all of that actually okay so when the sixth lord is in the fifth house if it is well posited then you will be able to use your intelligence your logical reasoning ability your uh, intellect you'll be able to use your analytical skills in your education and in acquiring knowledge now that will be a very good thing actually so if it is well posited these things also can happen with you you can acquire knowledge in the field of law you can acquire knowledge in the field of medicine in the field of health care okay you can acquire knowledge in these fields when the sixth lord is in the fifth house you can gain prosperity if you acquire knowledge in the field of law or medicine or health care okay now sixth lord you can also maybe do well in the field of sports that is also possible you can also do well in the field of sports now sixth lord in the fifth house that means it is activating again the dharma trine fifth house is part of the dharma trine okay 
so it is uh, activating the trine of your personality creativity knowledge and duty okay so when you have sixth lord in the fifth house you just have to be dutiful in life be dutiful towards your child fifth house okay maybe you owe something to your loved one or to your romantic partner so help them out if they need your help you uh, you need to take care of your father also when you have the sixth lord in the fifth house you owe something to your father also because i told you the entire trine is getting now influenced as per bhrigunandi nadi jyotish so you need to take care of your father do your duty towards your father towards some guru okay then uh, you have uh, it is also aspecting your own life okay so you need to focus on your day to day work you need to be routine bound you need to be disciplined in your day to day work okay you need to use your intelligence your intellectual power to gain knowledge then you'll be able to bring about a positive change in your life that is that will be possible for you to do if you have sixth lord in the fifth house okay just be disciplined organized methodical in acquiring knowledge in in the area of education or in the field of education or what should i say uh in matters related to education knowledge gaining or you know matters related to acquiring knowledge and learning you need to be methodical disciplined you need to use your intelligence analytical skills you will do very well if you have sixth lord in the fifth house i think i already mentioned that you can do very well uh, in the field of law medicine you can become prosperous you can do very well in the field of counseling also if you use your analytical skills well you can become a healer also okay so you can become a healer it can give you it can enhance your intuition power also okay if sixth lord is well placed in the fifth house but you just need to do your duty in life you have certain duties towards your child if you have child towards your father so just you may again be in a state of conflict with them you may have differences of opinion again with them but you have to do your duty towards them very important and just focus on using your intelligence analytical skills in acquiring knowledge then then you can definitely bring about a positive change in your life now let's move towards sixth lord in the sixth house itself so when the sixth lord will be in the sixth house itself so it is also said that when the lord of the house is in its own house it is sometimes even more powerful than an exalted planet in the chart and one thing you also have to remember that malefics will do well if they are placed in the sixth house okay because sixth house is a malefic house generally so a malefic planet will do better if it is placed in the 6000 you will get better results now sixth lord is in the 6000 itself 6000 is again part of the earth trikona the trine of materialistic pursuits sixth lord in the 6000 is also forming viparit raj yoga viparit raj yoga is formed when the lord of a malefic house is placed in either in its own house or in another malefic house 
say if sixth lord is placed in either sixth house or eighth house or twelfth house then it is viparit raj yoga so what will happen when the sixth lord is in the sixth house this raj yoga you will get the results of this viparit raj yoga if your ascendant lord is well placed and also if your moon is more or less well placed or strong then this raj yoga will get fructified in your lifetime especially during the dasha some sort of dasha of that planet so sixth lord in the sixth house that means you use your analytical skills your intelligence your ability to work hard you use that in your day to day work in your day to day routine life or work and that will make you wealthy and prosperous in life okay you can also do well in your profession then and you will end up earning wealth in life because sixth lord is in the sixth house sixth house which is part of the trine of materialistic pursuits yes you may encounter you will also encounter obstacles whenever you want to follow uh, you know your routine life you want to work hard on a daily basis obstacles also you may encounter in gaining wealth also in your profession also obstacles will be there but if you really believe in patience perseverance in diligence in hard work if you believe in using your intelligence analytical skills then you will be able to defeat those obstacles and overcome them and achieve your goals and you will end up earning wealth in life that is possible when the sixth lord will be in the sixth house okay you will be able to defeat your enemies also you will also be able to uh, you know if it is strongly placed in the 6th house you can win litigations court cases then you can also uh, you know what will happen even your diseases you can come out of them as well okay so these things can happen so if it is well placed now you need to maintain a proper routine life actually when sixth lord is in the sixth house so that your health remains good okay so sixth lord in the sixth house this viparit raj yoga will give you good results say if you have a disease also you will be able to come out of that disease this can happen especially if the ascendant lord is also strong or well placed otherwise you have to do remedies to make your ascendant lord strong okay so you have to take care of your day to day routine life you have to take care of your health very important and you have to really focus on your hard work and adopt a very practical methodical approach to your work to your goals in life that will make you successful and rich also in the long run now sixth lord let's move to the next placement sixth lord in the seventh house sixth lord in the seventh house rinanubandha i discussed that some bondage of debt now it is connected to your life partner because seventh house is the house of spouse your a partner also with whom you have sexual relationship and it is actually the house of marriage so some debt you owe to them definitely there can be conflicts with your partner or spouse but you are somehow bound to them 
somehow you are attached to them because of this bondage of debt okay so you have to do your duty towards your spouse that is very important you do your duty towards your spouse even if there are conflicts just focus on your duty on your responsibility that's it and from there you will see that story will change and things will start you know moving in your favor okay so do that just do your duty towards your spouse and towards even your siblings because sixth lord is in the seventh house part of the kama trikona the trine of desires but it is uh, as per bhrigunandi nadi jyotish the fifth and ninth aspects are also falling on the 11th and 3rd house respectively so do your duty towards your siblings elder younger all if you have so you ha- you have to settle certain karmic account with them so just do your duty towards them okay just be there for them no matter what conflicts you may have with them okay just be there in their time of need just as you should be beside your spouse in times of need always that you have to remember sixth lord is now influencing the trine of desires kama trikona so you will you may encounter obstacles in fulfilling your desires in life okay so in fulfilling your desires your ambition in following your passion you may encounter obstacles that is possible but it is the test of time actually okay so you have to now believe in your power of intelligence your ability to work hard you have to believe in your analytical skills in your ability to analyze things to go to the depth of things and understand them you have to believe in your logical reasoning ability also okay you have to believe in your ability to work hard and chase your goals no matter what obstacles you encounter along the way you have to have that conviction you have to keep that conviction that yes i can do it i am a fighter i can do it then you can overcome obstacles and you will be able to fulfill your desires or ambition in this lifetime okay so that's what you have to keep in mind that i have to fulfill my goals and desires in life and these obstacles which i am encountering along my way so they are kind of destined to happen i mean they are kind of i'm destined to encounter them so when certain things are destined to happen you have to accept that because you cannot escape from them so just take them in your stride and never give up then you'll be able to encounter uh, you'll be able to overcome all obstacles and fulfill you know your desires in life okay only then it will be possible do not expect anything much in return from people when you have sixth lord in the seventh house also seventh house is also the house which is connected to the world outside of you how you interact with the world the people with whom you deal they are also seen from the seventh house so just deal with them fairly don't enter into conflict with your business partner if you have sixth lord in the seventh house it can happen partnership business may not be very good for you because you can have conflicts with your partner okay you can have problems with your business partner so it is better if you are into business also try to do 
independent business totally on your own try to avoid partnership business as much as possible okay but whatever business you're doing whatever work you're doing you have to deal with people right so deal with people using your sense of intelligence okay so you deal with people you know in a very competent way don't try to avoid conflicts with people all right don't focus on problems differences of opinion rather focus on your intellect and you will see things will change for the better that i have to use my ability to reason my logical power my intelligence my ability to analyze things i have to use that all of that in dealing with people and just if i owe someone something i have to pay that off i have to pay off that debt if i have to shoulder some duty towards somebody i have to fulfill that obligation or duty that's it you have this attitude and then you will see things will turn in your favor eventually now let's move on to what will happen when the sixth lord is in the eighth house eighth house is again part of the moksha trikona so sixth lord in the eighth house you can use your you know your analytical skills your intelligence you can use all of that to move into any field of research that will be very good for you move into research investigation studying any sort of hidden mysterious field of knowledge you can go into even astrology you can go into any field of occult knowledge you use your intellect your intellectual abilities okay in the matters of the 8th house you will do very well yes you can go into astrology into occult knowledge all right on a day to day basis you should also consider doing some meditation that will give you peace of mind if you have fourth a uh, sixth lord in the 8th house because such people at times they may feel their mind may be restless and they may experience some lack of peace of mind so for you meditation is very good to regain your health your mental physical spiritual health so do meditation yoga breathing exercise pranayam very important sixth lord in the 8th house you may have certain obligations or duties towards your in-laws if you are married okay so just do your duties towards your in-laws you may be in conflict with them that is possible but just do whatever is needful just do your duty towards them that's it to pay off maybe the debt that you owe them actually yes and sixth lord Uh, all in the 8th house you need to be dutiful towards your mother also because the entire trine will now be affected as per bhrigunandini nadi jyotish 6th house it's sorry it's in the 8th house so 6th lord in the 8th house so 8th house 12th house and 4th house so be dutiful towards your mother also do you may have difference of opinion with your mother now this is again formation of viparit raj yoga because sixth lord is in the 8th house okay generally a malefic planet does well in a malefic house you have to remember that now sixth lord in the 8th house your diseases your loans everything can come to an end also because eight house is also the house of endings okay this is viparit raj yoga this will this yoga will get 
fructified or manifested if your lagna lord is powerful lagna lord and or moon is powerful then it gets fructified so you can pay off your loans your debts also you can also uh, pay off uh, your uh, whatever debts you owe to people and also uh, you can also um, come out of diseases your disputes with people also can come to an end so that is why viparit raj yoga now viparit raj yoga uh, it is like you will have to sometimes face certain adverse circumstances certain conflict may reach its peak or climax and then from there it may end once and for all and and that conflict which has finally ended can also transform your life this can happen it can transform your life for the better so it could be that conflict or that disease you are fighting against all of that and you know they have finally ended and now it has transformed your life for the better so that is again because it is a viparit raj yoga so you will face problematic circumstances but finally you will be able to come out of them this will happen when the ascendant lord and moon or moon they are strong now or well placed sixth lord in the eighth house yeah i mean uh you will get good results if uh, just just as i told you uh if you uh, move into all these fields you can also move into as i told you any field which is connected to research investigation so it could be even the field of law you can do very well in surgery you can be a very good surgeon sixth lord in the 8th house very good surgeon you can be okay yeah so now let's uh, move on to the 6th lord in the 9th house again if 6th lord is in the 9th house 9th house is part of the dharma trikona the trine of personality creativity knowledge and positive change so you are and duty it is a trine of duty so now you have certain duties and obligations towards your own self that is you have to use your sense of intelligence analytical power reasoning ability your ability to hard work hard you have to use all of that in your life so that you can prosper you have to also shoulder your responsibilities towards your father and child because from the 9th house as per bhrigunandi nari jyotish the 5th lord will also aspect your first house and the the 6th lord is in your 9th house so the 6th lord will aspect your first house and also your 5th house it is sitting in the 9th house so you will definitely you have certain duties means we generally have duties to shoulder our responsibilities towards your our parents that we have to do by default but when you have sixth lord in the ninth house so there is a very strong karmic connection with your father you have conflicts with your father but you were born to settle certain karmic account with your father so there could be disputes there could be conflicts with your father but no matter what we actually should always remember that we have to shoulder our duties towards our father towards father or mother i mean you cannot question them no matter how they are okay because you have seen the light of this world because of them so that is what so you may have difference of opinion with your father but you have to do your duty towards you were born actually to do certain duties towards your father you owe certain debt to your father actually 
so you have to pay off that debt by shouldering all your responsibilities towards your father the same thing also for your child if you have child so you could be in a state of conflict with your child but you have to do your duties towards your child it's very important now use your intelligence your logical reasoning analytical abilities to acquire knowledge because this is the trine of not just duty but also knowledge if you use that to acquire knowledge then you'll be able to bring about a positive change in your life you will encounter obstacles in attaining good fortune you will encounter because sixth lord is in the ninth house obstacles will come your way but if you go on focusing on acquiring knowledge if you use your intellectual power your analytical skills to acquire knowledge then in course of time you will be able to overcome all obstacles and if you are dutiful towards your father towards your child whatever obligations you have in life if you are dutiful in life then you will also be able to come out of that bondage of debt and you will be able to find your identity and bring about a positive change in your life okay but yes obstacles will be there the path will not be that easy so you don't you should never give up and never get disheartened all right so yes you were actually destined to face these obstacles okay so you can't help that so you cannot escape from that as well those obstacles may come in any form it may come in the form of some disease it may come in the form of some dispute with somebody okay it may come in the form of some as i said some enemy or some debt so those obstacles you have to overcome so if you have a sharp intellect if you have great reasoning ability okay don't enter remember this you have to avoid conflicts with people instead you have to look inwards you have to look inwards you have to enhance your own you know level of intelligence intellectual power you have to enhance your analytical ability your research ability your ability to gain knowledge if you do that then you will see you will be able to confront and defeat all obstacles problems and eventually you will be able to overcome all obstacles and you know establish your identity and bring about a positive change in your life now let's move on to what will happen when the sixth lord will be in the 10th house again 10th house is part of the artha trikona the trine of materialistic pursuits so you are kind of destined to work hard you'll be able to earn wealth only if you work hard that's what you have to remember only if you focus on your hard work on your daily routine if you focus on working hard on a day to day basis if you focus on making regular progress with patience perseverance if you focus on using your logical reasoning ability your intellectual powers your analytical ability if you use all of that in your profession in your day to day work you will end up gaining wealth in life so you have to you have to work hard things will not be served to you on a platter and things will not drop from heaven it is you who will have to work towards your goals and you will have to believe in hard work you will have to adopt a methodical practical goal oriented approach to life you are destined to do that you have certain obligations towards 
the society also if sixth lord is in the 10th house you can encounter obstacles in your profession obstacles will come but if your focus is right if you know where to focus i have to focus on my own self i have to focus on my on sharpening my intellect on enhancing my analytical skills my logical reasoning skills i have to focus on that on my problem solving skills then you can do very well in your profession it's a very good placement sixth lord in the 10th house for people who want to make a career in the field of law or medicine or health care even sports so it is a very good uh, field for uh, you know it's a very good placement for these professions you can also be a counselor you can be a mediator in disputes lawyer etc doctor as i told you so uh, now sixth lord in the 10th house your profession may be connected to loans you may be working uh, in some bank and you may be uh, you know connected to the loan department that is also possible okay now sixth lord in the 10th house you also have certain duties certain obligations you have towards your profession and you need to actually serve people then only your public image will improve if you have this attitude of serving people the more you have the attitude the more you have the willingness to provide service to people the greater you prosper in your profession you may at times feel that there are problems in my profession that i am not being rewarded for the work that i do when you have sixth lord in the 10th house you can enter into conflicts with higher authorities with even your boss with your superiors at your workplace you may feel that you are not duly rewarded for the work that you do you may feel all of that but remember this is actually all these things are kind of destined to happen with you okay so just take them in your stride and remember that we cannot control everything after all we can only do our bit we can only work hard we can only use our intelligence we can only you know make efforts but if our efforts are not rewarded then the result of our efforts that is actually not in our hands that is something which you have to remember you know that line of which is there in bhagavad gita right karman ne vadhika raste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karm phal hetur bhu ma te sanghostva karman ne that means the results of our hard work they are not in our hands we have right over our work the work that we have to do so that work we whatever duty whatever work we have to perform so you have right over that only you do not have right over the results that you are going to get because of that work so you have to have this attitude okay so that i am working hard so i have to be immediately rewarded no or i will have to be duly rewarded everything is not in our hands so you have to remember that certain things are destined to happen certain things are predetermined because you know na sixth lord is you know a planet which is definitely connected to some karmic account which you have to settle in this lifetime okay so you are destined to face that those obstacles in your professional life so don't get disheartened it is difficult i know but have patience just take them in your stride okay 
you just focus not on your rewards focus only on your duty and you will see things will start turning in your favor from there itself from then on you will see things will take a turn in your favor when you are focusing only on your duty that's it that is the best remedy for sixth lord in the 10th house you have to work hard maybe you have to work hard a lot overcome your obstacles to you know earn wealth in life okay so if that is what your birth chart is pointing towards you have to accept that that i have to work hard okay and once you are in a state of acceptance once you learn to accept your destiny okay so your positive transformation happens from there do you remember that and your life also gets transformed for the better changes for the better so yeah then uh, you may have certain uh, duties obligations towards your family also it's possible try to avoid conflicts with your family members as much as possible because this entire trine it is in the 10th house 6th lord so 10th 2nd house and 6th house this earth trine is getting influenced as per bhrigu nandi nari jyotish because 6th lord will aspect these houses also okay you may have certain duty towards your maternal uncle especially mother's younger brother mother's younger siblings met younger okay mother's younger brother or sister so some uh, maternal uncle or aunt who are younger than your mother so if they are in need of help see to it that you help them this is also possible uh, that uh, it may happen that they may need your help you may not be on good terms with them but even then maybe you owe them something in this lifetime so help them out then help your family do your duty towards your family and just focus on your day to day work focus on working hard that will enable you to gain wealth and do well in your profession okay yeah and serve people in society also in whatever way you can now let's move on to the 6th lord in the 11th house when the 6th lord is in the 11th house what will happen 11th house is again part of the kama trikona the trine of desires so whenever you go to fulfill your desires the desire for friendship the desire for following your passion the desire for forming relationship with someone of the opposite gender the desire for uh, gaining friendship in your social circle you may encounter obstacles because the 6th lord is in the 11th house whenever it is uh, you know it comes to gaining from your profession from your work also you may encounter obstacles there but remember these obstacles they are kind of you know you are destined to face them so you have to take them in your stride okay so you may have conflicts with uh, your elder siblings even younger siblings because sixth lord is in the 11th house from the 11th house as per bhrigu nandi nari jyotish your third house of younger siblings will also be influenced and even your seventh house will be influenced so you may have conflicts with your siblings all siblings you may have conflicts with your life partner or with your partner with whom you have an intimate relationship you may have conflicts with them differences of opinion with them but you also have to remember that you just need to do your duty towards them that's it just do your duty towards them without expecting anything much in return if you have this sort of an attitude you will see that you will feel better and your life will also change for the better when you have 6th lord in the 11th house 
okay you were born to settle certain karmic account with your siblings with people in your social circle with uh, your life partner also or maybe even your business partner so just do your duty that's it towards these people and also sixth lord in the 11th house obstacles in as i said in uh, attaining rise of income some obstacles could be there in your growth of income but uh, yeah if the sixth lord is well placed then you can gain from the field of law from uh, being a mediator in disputes from being a counselor from the medical profession healthcare industry you can gain from these fields you could even be associated with the field of sports and you can gain from all of these fields actually if you have sixth lord in the 11th house now sixth lord in the 11th house what else we can say that you have to the more you stop expecting things from others you know the more you you know focus on your on enhancing your own uh, okay analytical skill skills enhancing your own intelligence your logical reasoning powers the higher the possibility of gaining in life so you will be able to gain from your job when you have sixth lord in the 11th house sixth lord is connected to your job your day to day work so if you are working hard on a day to day basis if you are using your intelligence your logical analytical abilities in your day to day work or job you will be able to gain in life you will be able to see a growth or rise in your income also and you will be able to become prosperous also and fulfill your desires in life okay fulfill your ambition in life as well yeah so now let's move on to what will happen when the sixth lord will be in the 12th house 12th house is part of the moksha trikona and this is also a, a formation of viparit raj yoga when you have sixth lord in the 12th house okay that means sixth lord in the 12th it means that you will actually your profession because of your profession or job you may have to travel to a foreign land that's possible if you are doing a job in some foreign land it can give you better results otherwise if you are doing a job in your homeland then that job also you may somehow end up losing that job it is possible so you're doing some job but sixth lord is in the eight is in the 12th house this can also happen if it is in the 8th house so your job may somehow you may end up losing that job either you will lose it either the person may be terminated or the native may give up the job anything can happen when the sixth lord is in the 12th house but if you are doing a job in a foreign land you got a job and you shifted to a foreign place for your job then it can be good now sixth lord in the 12th house what else we can say it is activating your moksha trine so from the 6th 6th uh, lord is in the 12th house from the 12th house the 6th lord as per bhrigunandinari jyotish will also aspect your 
fourth house and eighth house so you have some duties towards your mother okay you have to you were born to settle some karmic account with your mother so you may have a question that the relationship with parents with uh, life partner siblings it is generally always karmic then what is the difference there is a difference when the sixth lord is aspecting the fourth house from the 12th house that means that karmic account is very powerful or it's like going to influence your life in a very big way so that bondage of debt you know the debt that you owe your mother you will feel that bondage in a big way when the sixth lord will aspect the fourth house so you really owe something to your mother you owe to take care of her you have to shoulder your duties your responsibilities towards your mother you were born with that bondage of debt towards your mother so when you have sixth lord in the 12th house and from there it's aspecting the 4th house you have you owe a great uh, debt to your mother does it mean you don't have to take care of your father no you have to take care of your father as well but you were born to settle some karmic account with your mother specially the relationship with your mother is highly karmic actually so that is the difference you have to be dutiful towards your father also it is also ka a karmic relation but when the sixth lord is aspecting fourth house that means it will be very challenging also because on the one hand you may have conflicts with your mother you were born to face that challenge in this lifetime that you, you on the one hand you have conflicts with your mother you have quarrels with your mother you have problems differences of opinion but on the other hand you have to not just tolerate your mother but you have to take care of her so that is very challenging and that is prarabdha karma so you are destined to do that okay so that will those actions which will which you will be destined to engage in they could be very difficult for you to perform but you have to do because these things were predetermined and you have to now you cannot escape your destiny that is what the 6th house and 6th lord are all about so you have to take care of your mother no matter what you cannot escape that responsibility otherwise it will have consequences then again from there from the 12th house the aspect as per bhrun and the nadi jyotish will also fall on the 8th house of in laws so you may not be able to tolerate your in laws you may have a very horrible equation with your in laws you may be into conflicts with them but you have to do your duty towards your in laws you will have to whatever obligations you have whatever duties you have towards them you have to shoulder them in this lifetime because you owe them something now sixth lord in the 12th house again if you go to a foreign land you know if you're going there for a job doing a job and you are focusing on your job well then it could be good but you're just going maybe you were bound to go to a foreign land and settle down you may encounter obstacles in a foreign land okay so you, so if the sixth lord is say if the sixth lord is also your fifth lord then you may be happy in a foreign land but if it is only your sixth lord okay and not lord of any benefic house just the sixth lord then you will experience lack of peace of mind in a foreign land you may encounter obstacles in a foreign land you may have enemies also in a foreign land these things are possible you have to follow the law sixth uh, house and sixth lord 
they are connected to law and order also never break any law in a foreign land otherwise you may be in trouble because 12th house is also the house of prison jail you have to take care of your health because 12th house is also the house of hospitalization so take care of your health but then this is you may be in a hospital because of some uh, disease in a foreign land but this is also the formation of the viparit raj yoga so you will be able to come out of that disease even if viparit raj yoga gets fructified when your ascendant lord or moon they are strong or more or less well placed then you will be able to win over your enemies also and you will be able to uh, even regain your health defeat diseases and you will also be able to um, come out of your debts but you know your debts or loans everything you'll be able to come out of them because this is also viparit raj yoga you will have to face certain adverse circumstances maybe you are sick you could be even admitted into a hospital but then you will be cured once and for all and you will regain health and once you come back from the hospital you will feel that you know your health will take a turn for the better so even those diseases obstacles you know whatever you encounter they can they are actually they can turn into a blessing in disguise for you okay you can repay your debts and loans also sixth lord in the 12th house okay that is possible because of the formation of viparit raj yoga all right so that also you have to remember especially during the dasha of that particular planet it can get fructified yes yeah so dasha antar dasha pratyantar dasha even so if you are really you can come out of your loans diseases problems you can overcome obstacles also because lord of a malefic house sixth house is in a malefic house which is the 12th house all right so on a day to day basis if you are doing meditation it is good actually for you on a regular day to day basis if you are engaged in yoga meditation breathing exercise that can be good for you that can sharpen your uh, you know analytical skills also your analytical skills with will get heightened okay so yeah i mean this is also a very good placement for being for going into any field of investigation research it is a very good placement for going into getting into the field of psychology uh, even astrology because you know sixth lord carries with itself the energy of mercury mars saturn so analytical creative energy logical bent of mind so all these qualities are also there in the sixth lord okay so you can do on a day to day basis you can be engaged in uh, okay uh, doing consultations helping people out yes sixth uh, lord is connected to service you can serve people by giving away something maybe, maybe by sharing your knowledge you're serving people okay so that is a very good thing it's a very good placement sixth lord in the 12th house for being uh, a counselor also even for going into occult knowledge also i would say it is a good placement and even for psychology for doing any sort of investigation and research also it is a good placement so you just have to uh, believe in your you know analytical skills and this is part of the moksha trikona the trine of intuition also the trine connected to intuition compassion so use your intelligence your analytical ability to help others to provide others with guidance okay to connect with your intuition then you will get good results okay 
when you have sixth lord in the twelfth house so uh, yes friends uh, that was my take on sixth lord in different houses of your birth chart if you want personal consultation you can text me or whatsapp me details are there in the description do like share subscribe and yeah before i wind up a gentle reminder uh, you, we should always believe in charity uh, help the poor and downtrodden we should take care of our parents and elders and uh, uh, we should also be kind to animals birds and all creatures thank you so much